Hi guys, this is Mark Piller, and today I want to give you an overview of some of the fantastic features and improvements we have made in the geolocation service and the geolocation uh, screen and development console. The, these changes just made it into the release that we published and are available to you uh, right now. So if you were to log into the Canvas console, you can experience everything that I'm going to show you right away. Uh, if you are not familiar with geolocation or Backendless, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the core concepts that you need to know and understand uh, whenever you start working with geolocation uh, with Backendless. First of all, uh, here we are in Backendless console, the geolocation screen, and the list on the left is going to be a list of the geo categories. A geo category contains geo points, and then every single point is going to be a pair of coordinates plus some metadata. So the three core concepts are geo categories, geo point, and metadata. Uh, a geo category is exactly what it is, what it sounds like. It is a it is logical grouping of geo points. Uh, geo point, as I said, the pair plus metadata. Uh, for this one, if we were to zoom out and define it right here in the map, so here it is, uh, pointed out exactly to where the city of Madrid is. Notice the metadata consists of uh, pairs of values. In this case, those key value pairs are price, high, cuisine, French, city, Madrid. The, arb the metadata can be completely arbitrary. It can be any kind of combination of key value pairs that would be important and relevant for your application. So in this particular case, if we were to build an app uh, to find, let's say, cafes or restaurants, then the metadata could be exactly what it's shown here or something else but relevant. So for instance, if we were to find all the geo points in the particular geographic area where price is high and uh, cuisine is, uh, in this particular case, French, then that particular geo point would be returned by Backhandless to your API query. Uh, new categories can be easily created or edited or deleted using the buttons here below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new app and show you how to get started uh, working with geolocation uh, within the console. So here the app, we're going to call it GeoTest. So the app, uh, the backend is created. It is GeoTest, as you can see right here. And uh, since the backend is brand new, there is no data in there, obviously, then there is no uh, list of categories. One of the new things we have added is an ability to set it up and configure with some sample data. And for this, there is a button here called Set Up Sample Data. If you click on that and uh, answer yes, then the backend is going to be populated with some sample geolocation data. And what this is, is just a, a collection of geo points, 332 of them, where that have some very minimal and basic metadata. And in fact, the metadata is going to be just uh, the key is city and value of that uh, metadata pair is going to be the city name where that particular point belongs to. Okay. Uh, as far as navigating and using this particular interface, it has two separate modes. The very first mode, which is enabled by default, is called table driven. And the way it works is whatever geo points you see in table are going to be the data, the, uh, the geo points which will be displayed in the map, in the current view area. If I were to zoom out, then I'm going to see a lot more of them. Specifically, uh, there are 23 pages, and right now there are 15 geo points uh, per page. If I were to go to 50, then not notice that we're going to have a lot more geo points, specifically 50 of them, because that's how many geo points fit on the single page in that particular uh, table. I can page through this data and as a result the points that are here on that particular page they are immediately displayed right there on the map. Clicking on any particular marker uh, shows a pop-up with the coordinates and it finds that geo point right here uh, in the table. Uh, you can click on a geo point and you can move it to a different category, you can delete it, you can copy it to a different category and so on. So this is the first, the table driven mode. The second mode is called map driven and you can turn it on by using this particular toggle and let's do this. Now this mode is completely different. So here it is the map that is responsible for finding geo points. In fact we use the current viewport which is identified by a pair of two coordinates, the coordinate of uh, this particular corner and this particular corner of the map and you can see those coordinates in this little overlays. So if you were to run exactly the same API search, 
uh, then these are the coordinates that you, that you would use for this particular port. So anything that would be found within this particular viewing area are the, are the geo points that are displayed in the map and in the table. So in this case, we have 328 geo points that would fit into seven pages with 50 geo points per page. Once I start zooming in, let's go somewhere in Europe. So as you can see, now we have 44 geo points that can fit right there on a, on a single page. So this is a, a way for you to test uh, functionality just to see what geo points the back end returns for any given geographic area identified by a rectangle uh, with, with the coordinates right here. Now in addition to search in rectangular area that is supported by Back Canvas API, there is also search in radius and that is something new that we just added. And right here whenever you are in the map driven navigation you can also turn on search in radius. In fact if I turn this on and zoom out a little bit you can see that there is a circular area that can be changed, the radius of which can change. And uh, whenever you change the radius, it is updated immediately right here. So we have uh, right now in 260 miles. And uh, once I start moving this particular circular area, then back endless returns all the geo points that would fit in this particular given radius in this particular area. And then all the found geo points would be displayed right there on the screen and you can inspect them and see exactly what the metadata is and so on. Uh, you can easily move this by dragging this particular center point. So, so here it is. Uh, switching back to the table driven navigation is just as, as simple as clicking this particular toggle and now it is going to be in a map driven navigation. So this is a quick overview of the new capabilities that you will find in geolocation. Uh, there will be other videos where we show the power of the actual API in relation to what you see in the development console, just so you can see exactly how to retrieve those uh, geo points using the APIs. Thank you and happy coding.